Oh, I'm beat. Twelve hours standing. I think my socks have grown into my shoes. One more minute of surgery and I would have melted like a dolly painting. I can top that. I was beginning to look like an Escher. Maybe we can catch a few winks so we'll be bright and bushy-tailed for tonight's entertainment. Nothing short of a tropical windstorm could put the bush back in my tail. I'm so tired I had to operate with one eye open while the other one slept. Still, we've pulled much longer shifts than this before. And you know, something tells me we're not going to get much sleep around here. Are you forgetting what day this is? No, what day is it? Why, it's hiring day, the day in which our own Henry Blake, Commander-in-Chief, hires oddballs to fill momentary positions. I thought we had one of those last week. No. You are mistaking that with Bupkis Day, the day in which we all stand around waiting for casualties bored out of our skull. Yeah, but eventually the army delivered. They always do. Okay, we have a long day ahead of us, so let's get the first person in here. First person, sir? Well, it is recruiting day, isn't it? Or didn't I send out the memo? Oh, no, sir, you signed the memo, stating that the recruiting day was moved to tomorrow, but then I moved it back to today. Well, why did I do that? Oh, don't you remember, sir? Because you felt the supply truck arriving on the same day would make things too chaotic around here. Well, isn't the supply truck coming today, Radar? No, sir, I moved that to tomorrow. Well, why did you change them around? Well, because our entertainment could only make it here today. He's shipping out tomorrow and the supplies can arrive anytime. Well, what kind of hospital is this anyway, where supplies can wait but some joker in a clown suit and a microphone can't? Well, you know the army, sir. Not as well as I used to. Radar, will you bring in the first person, person, sir? Please. Thank you, Radar. Uh, Henry, you know I'm not one to split hairs, but if the cook is going to serve lamb curry to unsuspecting doctors, he could at least have the decency to move his meat van away from the latrines. That's right, Henry. Right now it's double parked. You can't get a square of toilet paper between them. Cheese and crackers! The supply truck was supposed to come tomorrow. What supply truck? The one with the supplies. Oh. We can accept that. Listen, guys, I've got a big day ahead of me, so if you wouldn't mind... Say no more, Henry. Yeah. We'll show the guys what they can do with their supplies. Better let Burns handle it. Frank? That's like asking Marie Chevalier to organize a posse. Could you guys chew your medicine and tell Frank I want to see him? Radar! Where's the entertainer, Where's the first... sir? Mr. Ron Wood. Great. Send him in. Uh, the entertainment committee's here. After you, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Do you two have to sit here and watch this? Can't you take a direct order? No, but we'll be receiving indirect orders all evening. Henry, <laughs> if you think we're going to miss this, your fish hooks are stuck in your scalp. I think there's a surgery for that. Well, oh. I... All right, come in. Don't be shy. Take a seat. May I get you a drink? I see you already have one there, and after my own heart. Okay, so, Mr. Wood, what is it exactly that you do? Well, I'm an entertainer, though, because I stepped in when, you know, Keith Richards kept having fights with the guy who makes them since they're terrible fights. Terrible fights for Keith's mates with me, so I'm a mick. So I think the ace is crazy, you know, but, uh, you know, it all worked out. Are you going to let him talk to you that way, Henry? Will you let me handle this, Pierce? Well, okay, but somebody better fetch the tongue suppressants. This guy has a terrific giggle reflex. Hey, watch this. Shoe one. Oh, I heard you were funny somewhere in the place. Somebody better get this man to a hospital. Pierce. It says here that you were, oh, excuse me, are the guitarist for a band called the Rolling Stones. I bet he is. Say, where are you from? Mm, Ixnay, I will be conducting the interview. If you don't mind, where are you from, fella? Well, I came over from England, right, but I'm always over here anyway, so what does it matter, right? I just came over here, anyway. Yeah. Okay, sirrah, so sirrah. So okay, we just have some basic profile questions here, and then you'll be all set to perform over in the mess tent tonight. Right. First question. Can you use intelligible in a sentence? Pierce, don't you have a major to find? Oh, that's right. See, we keep leaving him out in the rain, and then his dog tags rest, and it's impossible for him to find his way home. <laughs> That's a good one. My bird lovable, yeah. Right, well, we'll see you in the mess tent. Yeah, we'll try to clean it up before you get there. Just tell Major Burns I want to see him. Oh, look, Henry, your luck's changing already. Yeah, from bad to worse. Major Frank Burns here to see you, sir. Thank you, Radar. You wanted to see me, sir? Careful, Frank. There's a British gentleman in there, and he can't tell the difference between a consonant and a diphthong. You know I can't picture Frank in a diphthong. I find them too revealing. Better go with a one piece. Gee, pray. Hey, don't wear out my middle name, Frank. Without it, the other two have absolutely no ring. You? No, it's definitely you, Frank. Hey. Yeah, you. Would you mind moving your ice cream van away from the facilities? Yeah, I'd hate to have to start using bedpans again. What's that, sir? Well, it's just that we hate to have to deprive the patients of them. Oh, yes, sir. Would you sign for these supplies, sir? Quid pro quo, Will Capitan. Just as soon as you move your truck. Oh, why don't you cut the kid a break? After all, he just wants your autograph. Well, all right. You know it's hard keeping up with my adoring public. Hey. Just what do you think you're doing? I'm in charge. You know you're cute when you get angry. Mm -hmm. Go oh, stuff a fiddle. Hey, watch it, Frank. There are ladies present. Where? I don't see any women here. He was talking about you, Frank. Listen, why don't you make yourself useful, Frank, and go round up a few snipers? And just why would I do that? I don't know. Maybe we can use them in place of fireworks at tonight's party. Party? Huh. Well, we'll just see about that, Buster. You know, every time I talk to that guy, I get the distinct impression that I've missed something. Which would be all right with me if I didn't find it. 
Okay, get all of those things out there. Did you get those extra hey, sheets? Hey, watch those syringes. They're delicate. Sorry, sir. Excuse me, Hawkeye. Ah, Father. And what are you up to this glorious Sunday morning? Well, not what I'd like to be. Well, that makes a cozy ten million of us. Careful, watch those bottles. As you know, I hold services in the mess tent at 11.30 a.m. on Sundays. Yeah, well, I'd love to come, Father. Truly. But I'll be held up all day doing the Lord's work, and I won't have much time to stop and thank him. Careful, that was my foot. Oh, sorry, sir, I, I thought it was your shoe. My foot is in my shoe. Besides, Father, we have a hot date for the party tonight. Yes, well, that's just it. This party... Oh, don't worry, Father. We promise it'll be a clean affair. Yeah, we swear not to drink a drop until otherwise indicated. Seems my Sunday service has been cancelled. Oh, that's a shame, Father. Has the boss got a cold or something? No, nothing as serious as that. <laughs> it appears that your monthly meeting has been moved to 11.30 this morning, and my service to tonight, just before the Rolling Boulders man performs. Well, why would Henry schedule that now? Last time we had a monthly meeting, it lasted a month. Yes, well, you haven't held one in a while. I believe the last one I attended was six months ago. Really? Did the meeting go on that long? Hey, Trap, you should have woke me. I couldn't. I was asleep. We'll see what we can do for you, Father. Bless you, my sons. That's funny. I didn't hear you sneeze. Listen, I'm going to start decorating the mess tent. Oh, good. Maybe the congregation can help you blow up balloons. When's that translator going to get here? Might as well help myself to another um, drink. sir? Yo. The next person on the list is here to see you now, sir. His jeep just pulled up. Apparently, there was a little problem at the front. Jeepers, he went through the front to get here? Well, I guess he had to go through the front to get to us at the back, sir. All right, Radar. Send here he is, in. sir. <clears throat> Oh, make yourself comfortable. Okay, we just have a few preliminary questions. Uh, what's your name? Yes, yes, my name is Falk. Egelhofer. Frank? No, no, no. Falk. Oh, sorry. Gee whiz, how do you spell that? With a C. A palm C C. Okay, well, we're off to a great start, huh? I can't even pronounce your name. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no worries. It happens a lot. Actually, a lot more than you would think, but that's okay. Okie dokie, how long have you been doing this kind of work? Well, I have thought that was simple. In a small shop. Then got one of my own, but I guess every time I see a room, I think what it could be. This is what really is my notch. Uh, I'm sorry, your, your what? My notch? What goes with me? Oh, oh your, your niche. Yeah, well, <laughs> we all got one. Care for a drink? Hmm, well, I think I'll just put that away for later. So, do you think you're up for the task of communication? Oh, well, I think I know what this is going, and if I may, let me put all your words to rest right now, okay? I can design any room to make it look fabulous, and this place may be caught in the cocky nine not, but once I have all of it, I assure you it will be, well, more than savable. Listen, can I be frank with you? Okay, can I still be folk? Are you the translator? The translator? <laughs> yeah, well, ask a stupid question. Ah, oh, gee, I'm sorry, fella. I mean, to drag you all the way down here, you probably had a better time in Russia before the Portsmouth Treaty. I'm sure we can find something for you to do on the old list here. It is that you have a docker running problem, yes? Well, to be honest, I guess that has been put on the back burner lately. Say, how about you help decorate for tonight's concert? It will be held in the mess tent. You can't miss it. Almost all persons exiting will be holding their stomachs. And listen... Keep the colors toned down, huh? We don't want to send out invitations to enemy planes. <laughs> Major Falk, I got a reporting for duty, sir. As you were. Hello. Hi there. Who stuffed you full of happy pills? Who's the soldier to your Henry? That's Frank. Frank? No, no. Frank. With a C. Oh, good, because personally I'm up to here in Frank's. Might I suggest something for your look? My look? Well, there's not much worth looking at, but go ahead. Here's what I suggest for you. I suggest the color red for you, because red goes with your eyes and the whole tone of your heart. I think you're absolutely right. The color red would bring out the bloodshot in my eyes. Oh, ho, ho, you better walk this, Sergeant. How'd that get around? Oh, wait, fella. Here, you don't want to leave without your happy pills. Thoughts, Nick? Oh, thank you. My slopping pills. What kind of slopping pills? They're just for special occasions. I get half of one and I'm gonna. Well, it takes all kinds. Shall I go help set up now? Listen, Henry, the father would like to borrow the mess tent and turn it into a mess tent this morning, as per your usual agreement. I'd love to help, but I'm up to my what's it's in scheduling conflicts, so he's just going to have to lead services tonight. It'll be cozy. Oh, yeah, very cozy. Maybe you can expound on Genesis 6 through 9 while a band of bleary doctors floods the bar, and Ronnie Wood plays a chorus of Harlem Shuffle. Here's... All right, all right, I'll tell father no dice. Thank you. What? Here are the balloons you ordered, sir. I didn't order these. I ordered surgical gloves. Well, I guess when you ask for a rush delivery, two dozen surgical gloves can look an awful lot like blue and green balloons, sir. These are balloons, Radar. Send I'll send them in the mess tent, sir. If you told me, for some very hoppy days, I would suggest that the strimers go from one end all the way behind the vault thing, okay? You got it, chum. Uh, ah, uh, you must be Father McCoy. Yes, I think so. Oh, very nice to meet you. I just came in here to get a few papers for tonight's sermon, then I'll be out of your hair. Oh, all of this is for you? For the sermon. Well, in that case, I would suggest that he go stand over there so we can see him with the colors. Okay? Go figure. Stand right there, don't move. What do you think of blue? We got blue balloons. Mmm, that's a bit talky. That's all we got. It's perfect. Hunt me the blue balloons. Thank you, yes, okay. This shall, this shall work, I think. Yes, what is going on here? Hi, Frank. Oh, another frog. How nice. Frank, meet Frank. Frank, meet Frank. Is this a joke? I don't know, Frank, are you? What are all these streamers and balloons doing here? This is a war. Cool it, Frank. We're decorating for tonight's party. I repeat, 
And since when are we having a party? Since the entertainment committee got here. And just who is that? And why wasn't I informed? Father, you want to take this? I can't tack up these streamers and try and make sense out of him. One twisted thing at a time. Uh, yes, well, it seems that we're having a little entertainment tonight, along with my sermon. But Father, you okay this? To have streamers on Sunday? I haven't read all the versions of the Holy Book in quite some time, but I don't believe there is any mention of sins against he who hangs streamers. Frank, will you get off your soapbox and get on a chair and help me? Well, that's perfect. Stand right there. <laughs> Frank, will you do the honors? Oh, of course, my pleasure. <laughs> Son, what do you What are you doing? Oh, and cut it up. <laughs> oh, Frank, look. <laughs> it's what you always wanted. You're now officially a decorated war hero. Oh, applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> it's all well. You tear the stromers. I don't care if I do tear the stromers. Let me out of this thing. Say, Christmas has come a little early, hasn't it, kids? Frank was just getting in a party mood. Hey, maybe we should put a bow on top of his head and send him to Margaret. Oh, nerds. Is that a promise, Frank? Oh, listen, Father, I'm sorry, but there was nothing I could do. Henry's in an unusual mood. Oh, really? Yeah, he made up his mind. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right, my son. You did your best. And besides, one can pray anywhere at any time. All you have to do is believe. That's beautiful, Father. Yes, very heartfelt. I'm not sure what he said, but I think he agrees with you.